Radio Pharmacy is where we aseptically manufacture radio pharmaceuticals for use in nuclear medicine studies. The majority of our work is making diagnostic radio pharmaceuticals. So these are tracers which are injected into patients and then we can diagnose various diseases using different radio pharmaceuticals. Your radio pharmaceuticals are drugs which are radioactive. We have a part of the drug which will maybe target a certain organ or certain area of the body and then you have the radioactive part which binds together with it and we can use it for diagnosing a whole range of diseases, maybe the, looking at the kidneys or looking at the heart or looking at the lungs, looking for cancer or even treating cancer. We do diagnostic work as well so that's where we use radio pharmaceuticals to both diagnose and to also treat patients and their disease. So it's not just diagnostic, we can actually uh, treat various diseases too. When we get a, an order for a radio pharmaceutical, we manufacture it in our lab and before it can be injected into a patient, we need to make sure that it's been made correctly, it's fit for purpose and it's safe for the patient. The three sort of elements to what we do is the manufacture, uh, testing and then finally, once it's all safe, uh, we'll inject into patients. I think I had like one lecture or two lectures about radio pharmacy. I hardly knew anything about it. During my pre-registration training, I think I had half a day in radio pharmacy. And I would say that half day changed my life because I was able to see um, what the radio pharmacist was doing. And I was like, that is really interesting. And I didn't know anything about it. And that's how I've really ended up in radio pharmacy from half a day in my training period. It looks very different, obviously it's got all the lead shielding and isolators and uh, equipment that we use and it just looked very different to normal pharmacy. Um, so that intrigued me and then a lot of people get quite scared when they hear radiation. When you see the sign that says nuclear medicine, you think, good grief, what's that? That really sounds like something that's quite dangerous, you know, radioactivity and, um, you know, uh, is it going to be Chernobyl in there? But, no, it, but it's not like that at all. It's really quite, it's quite a safe and very controlled um, working environment. So there's several routes to uh, get into working in a radio pharmacy. So uh, some of our team, they don't have a degree, but they had an interest in working in a radio pharmacy. So they came in as an assistant and they have worked up and got that knowledge. Some of our staff were already pharmacy technicians working in a different area of pharmacy, but have come across to radio pharmacy. Uh, I got my degree and became a clinical scientist, so there's a lot of opportunities there as well. Through my university, I managed to get a placement in a pharmacy department. Through that, I had a little bit of exposure to radio pharmacy, and it really intrigued me. And um, then I actually did some volunteering in a radio pharmacy, got to know what it involved, and then that pushed me to apply for the scientist training programme and I was fortunate enough to get on it and specialise in radio pharmacy. If, if anybody's like training or working in a hospital setting and they have an opportunity to see the radio pharmacy, just definitely like make a fuss and, and go there and get to see it because you know it's fascinating and it might just catch your attention, catch your excitement uh, and your interest and uh, yeah you might you might you might change your life too. So it's pretty well established, but it's still moving forward. So although there's some routine things we do all the time, there's a, a lot of new clinical trials that we're involved with, and it's really exciting to see those uh, first time in the clinic. The way I got into radio pharmacy, it was a part learning research and part um, working at the same time. If you're interested in both sides, there's plenty of opportunity for research as well. I think to work in, in radio pharmacy, you really do need quite good technical skills. And that's one of the things I like. I really like the hands-on approach. You know, you're, you're manipulating things and, and making things. But it, but it is very precise. It's very highly regulated. And you do have to be very precise. I think you um, have to have an attention for detail. It's kind of that mix of skills about just following, following the procedures and being very technical about following those procedures, but also having the insight into understanding the method on what you're doing so that if something were to go wrong, which it sometimes does, you're able to, to challenge that and, 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 and sort the problem out. There's a lot of need for more people to get interested into the area. Um, it is developing and there are a lot of trials of um, involving radio pharmaceuticals.
We need more enthusiastic, high quality people working in radio pharmacy um, because it's such an exciting field to, to work in. You know, you, you, you're at the cutting edge of science, you're making a difference, you're changing people's lives and that's just so exciting. Mm -hmm.